and showed the people around me that I needed their help. And to be honest, I thought that I was doomed and that no one would trust me anymore. But then, a miracle happened. Because when I showed that I wasn't that perfect genius, people around me became more comfortable and began to speak up. People around me began to work more because they felt that they were needed. What happened as a result of that was we had this incredible interactive environment with critical discussions and original ideas going about. And with this new environment, I started my new ideas. First was the Ideason. The Ideason was a contest to see who could come up with the best idea to change our food aside. What this event allowed us to do was to gather ideas from the entire school. Next, we did a comic exhibition. I heard that my school was going to be the model for this very famous Japanese comic called Dragon Sakura, which had sold over 6 million copies. I thought that it would be interesting if we did a comic Dragon Sakura exhibition at our bunkasai. So I immediately contacted the publisher of Dragon Sakura, and they were more than happy to cooperate. Until the day of the bunkasai, we went back and forth between my school, the publishers, the University of Tokyo, and even to Mr. Mita, the comic writer's house, to plan this large-scale, first-ever Dragon Sakura comic exhibition. However, we didn't end there. Next, I had an idea to build this Bukasai app. My idea was simple. After downloading the Bukasai app, on the map, there will be these orange treasure hunt icons. Visitors will actually go to the place where the orange icons are and find a QR code there. Using the Bukasai app, they would take a photo of that QR code and instantly this gacha screen pops up. And out comes a gold, silver, or bronze penguin. <laughs> Which, by the way, is our school mascot. And visitors can, according to the penguin that the visitor gets, they can trade it for points and for prizes at the end. All of these ideas that I had could not have been possible without the help of my amazing team. And now, not only were people helping me out with my ideas, people were bringing me their ideas. My vice chairman made the system which controlled all 900 students' worth of work schedules on the actual day. The decoration department made this huge ring board as an Instagram spot. The, the interactive club sold fair trade products and even made this thousand Korean origami for the visitors to fold. The tech department, they casted a projection mapping image using three projectors at the same time. The performance and planning department planned a parade. One board member even went on to make a fundraiser for, for ALS. We had unique content, and we even had an organized system to run our Bungasai. However, I remember one important thing, and that was promotion. We didn't have enough promotion. What good was it if no one came to see what we had made? And this was my third and final obstacle. With just 10 days left to our school festival, I jumped on every SNS and I made a post about my Bungasai. To my surprise, I'm receiving messages upon messages. My friends, my friends' friends are saying that they want to help me. People all over Japan are saying that they want to share my book aside in their streets, neighborhoods, schools, everywhere all around Japan. One guy even lended us a pepper robot <laughs> that we programmed to do quizzes and to tell fortune during our book aside. Not just our school, but the whole community, or shall I say, the whole Japanese nation was involved in this book aside <laughs> Now, I think to myself, how can I spread this movement even further? 
and it suddenly comes to my mind that bunkasai is a teenage culture unique to Japan. So I thought this was a great opportunity to spread my bunkasai to not just Japan, but to the world. I meet up with politicians, CEOs, international organizations, schools, and even churches. What I do is I also make English and Chinese posters, but with a small detail. Believe it or not, these posters are made out of eco-friendly rocks. These are made out of rocks, these posters. It's called Linux, which a guy introduced to us. And with these posters, he put the Chinese posters near the largest Chinatown in Asia, which happened to be near our school. And we sent all the English and Chinese posters off to many, many people. Finally, I decided to contact the governor. After sending him emails, contacting him, calling him, and even finding his actual Facebook account, and uh, <laughs> directed, direct, directly um, contacting him, he invites us to the government building. After two minutes into my explanation of Bukasai, the journalist and politician's eyes widened. And just like that, we're on TV and trending on every SNS. I realized that I had now brought my Bukasai movement to not just Japan, but to the world. Finally, after days of no sleeping, <laughs> it was the actual day of the Bukasai. And let me say, the Bukasai passed by in a blur. Everywhere I looked, I saw visitors finding something new in every corner of the Bukasai. Every student, from those who stood on the stage, to those who made the food, to those who cleaned the school, were playing an important role. And all the ideas, all the new ideas, every single one of them worked. The prizes we had for the treasure hunt, the thousands of prizes, they ran out in the first two hours. The comic writer, the famous comic writer of Dragon Zakura, Mr. Mita, made a surprise appearance at our Bungasai. The stages and auditoriums were packed with people. People were telling me that they had never had an experience like this. We were able to set countless records for visitors, app downloads, and sales. But what made me most happy was at the, was at the end of our festival when the juniors came rushing to me, saying, Chiko-san, Chiko-san, you changed our view of Bunkasai. Next year, we too will change our Bunkasai and build upon that foundation that you have made. I realized then that not only had I achieved my goal, what I had done was only the start, the beginning, of a Bunkasai movement that will be continued for years. Today, I want to end my talk with two messages. First, that there is a limit to what an individual can do. But there is no limit to what a team can do. And to work as a team, you need to be willing to show your weaknesses that you're an imperfect and average human being because that will make other people feel comfortable. This is what leadership is about. Second, have a big vision. It doesn't have to be specific or unique. My first vision was just to create a new book aside. But be sure to not care about the other people around you. Stick to your vision. Be persistent and little by little people will follow you. Before you know it, you will be at the place you've always wanted to be. This concludes how I created my Everest of Bukasai. And so begins your journey to create your Everest. Thank you.